In this video, I show you how to download Irish shaders. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. Firstly, you'll need to go and close off Minecraft and then go and open up a web browser. Personally, I use Google Chrome, but you can use any browser you'd like and then come to a search engine. And what you'll need to do is go and search for Iris shaders, just like so. Just type it in just like this. And make sure you go to the official website, which is irishshaders.net. Now, if you don't know what Iris shaders are, well, essentially it's the platform which allows us to go and then add shaders to Minecraft. So we'll still need to go and get shader packs, but this is the platform which allows us to go and run them. So once you're on the website, go and tap on download now, like so. And then as you can see, what we can do is go and download the universal jar. Just go and tap there just like so, and then it should go and start the download. And then what we'll need to do is go and find the download in your downloads folder. So go and open up your file explorer. Here is the Iris installer. So go and double tap on it just like so. Now, if you don't get anything open when you go and do that, this may be because it's a jar file. So I'm gonna go and put this on my desktop just to explain a bit more about it. So firstly, you'll need to make sure that you've actually got Java installed. If you don't, go and open up a web browser and then go and search for Java like so and go to java.com. And what you'll need to do is literally go and tap on download Java, it will download. After it's finished downloading, you'll then need to go and locate the download file and go and install it. Just follow through the instructions, it's super easy and you can then install it. And then what you can do is come to the Java file or the jar file, right click on it and then press open with and then press Java TM platform SE binary or tap on choose another app and then find it in this list here and press always run. That should go and fix the problem. If it doesn't, then I've actually got a full guide on this because you may need to go and get something called the jar fix and that should go and fix your problem. So yeah, what all you need to do is go and run this just like so. And once you go and run it, then what you need to do is go and select your game version. In this case, I'll do uh, 1.19.4. Make sure Iris install is selected and then you go and tap on install like so and then it should go and install. As you can see, it now says completed. So we can now go and close off Iris and Sodium just like so. Now, the next thing we need to do, as I said before, is go and get some shader packs because what Iris does, it allows us to run shader packs, but we still need to go and get them. So all you need to do is go and open up a web browser. So there are many shader packs out there, but a few I like to use are BSL shaders, Silda shaders, or maybe makeup shaders as well. But you could go and research your own as well, but just make sure that they're official and they're sort of completely safe to run. In this case, I'm gonna go and get the BSL shader. So I'll type that in like so, just like this. Then I'm gonna go and get them from Curse Forge. I know that's a pretty reputable website. Here we are. Then all you need to do is scroll down and then go and tap on files. And then what we can do is choose the version we want. So in this case, I want to get a uh, Minecraft 1.19. So I'm gonna go and click on these three dots on the right hand side and press on download file. And hopefully the download will shortly go and start. The shaders have now downloaded. So I'm gonna close off my web browser and go to your downloads folder and go and find the shader pack you just downloaded and just right click on it and go and press on the copy button like so. Or you can just go and press control C as well. Then what you need to do is come to the top of your file explorer to where it says downloads. Remove that just by pressing the back button and type in percentage app data percentage, just like so it may even suggest it and click on it there. Then what you need to do is go into dot Minecraft and then go and find shader packs. So you may need to go and scroll down and as you can see, here it is. Then go and double tap on it like so. And then what we can do is go and paste in the file we just went and copied, which is the shader pack. So I'll just go and press on the paste button or you could press control V. Now let's go and open up Minecraft and I'll show you what you need to do next. Here we are on the Minecraft launcher and what you need to do is make sure you go and select Iris and Sodium and then go and tap on play like so and you'll need to go and understand the risk just because you're playing like a modded version of Minecraft. Now here we are in a world so to go and activate shaders what you'll need to do is go and pause the game like so then go and tap on options and then go and tap on video settings. Now things do look a bit different because we're using Iris but all you need to do is go to the top and it says shaders here. It's like a bias to coffee thing which is tap on shaders and then go and choose the pack you want to go and use. In this case, I want to go and use BSL. So I'll click there, tap apply like so, and Minecraft is then gonna go and reload. Everything's sort of frozen. And after a few seconds, they've now gone and switched and we can then go and press done, unpause the game, and there we go. We're now using shaders in Minecraft. And that's it guys. As you can see, everything looks really awesome. And of course, you can use other packs as well if you don't like the look of the one you currently have. If you guys found this useful, then please consider leaving a like. Peace.